Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. In this episode, we are going to be using some of our new high seas parts, the sails in particular, to be uh, used for purposes that they weren't probably intended for. So we are going to be building ourselves a sail flyer. So we're going to start with a water seat, because if we're going to be using this in the high seas map, we're definitely going to be able to want to go in the water. There's lots of it, and it's pushing you around. The wind's going to push you into it. And this will actually work underwater as well as in the air. So that's a double bonus. So we're going to start with our diving bell seat. We're going to simply grab some thrusters. Let's see some of these ones. We're going to keep them on the lower connection point there on either side of the seat. Uh, that way we get our connection points on the outside here as well. So what we're going to start with is we're just going to take a deuce. These are actually fairly easy builds. And uh, surprisingly, they fly really well, really stable. So we're just going to add a couple of deuces on there, and then we're going to add some single small steering hinges to the back. Again, green arrow up. For me anyways, you can set up whatever color you want. We'll go green up, we'll select these two, and we'll have green going up, red going down, S and W. And now we're going to grab a couple of these big, big fins, big sails right here. The big long ones, the uh, tall modular sail. You want to grab that sucker, lay it flat. Twist it sideways, lengthwise, like this. We're going to take that right down here. We're going to put that right there like that. Now we're going to copy this one out. Sorry, just went redneck. Uh, we'll copy this one out to this side, like that. And believe it or not, that will probably fly. Depends on what we have these angles set to and our speed here. So we want to drop the speed down to 0 0.1. And the angle, let's set that to, yeah, 30 should work. Might not be steep enough, but that's okay. We can add a couple of uh, wings to the front. Wings, sails, whatever you want to call them. All right, so let's try that. Build that in. We'll jump in there, flip that around that way, hit the old gas, pull back, smash into the side of the rocks. So let's see, we'll go up the hill. See, I mean, we're flying already. Again, and once it starts going, like we're doing almost 300 kilometers an hour here, right? Like I have no seat control whatsoever. I can't, there's no roll, no yaw, no pitch, no nothing. And I have no thrust underwater. So we just fall to the bottom. Let's do something about that, shall we? We shall be adding. We need some steering control. So the easiest way to do that is we are going to add an or gate to the back. Like this, one for this side, one for this side. This one is going to be connected to this hinge, and seeing how green is up, when that comes up, that means we're going to roll that way. So that should be B and A. This one will be connected to this steering hinge, and that should be A and D. Again, we can just pop this into the world, build it in left and right. Might need to increase the speed on those a little bit more. So we'll increase the speed on our steering hinges to 0 0.2. Big increase. It's like twice as much almost. Alright, so we'll build that in. Let's see. Let's build it in this way. And give it some gas. And say, take me away. Let's go flying. So we're going up and we're shaking. Oh, gee, holy. Yeah, we got some... Oh, that's the ground. We don't want to meet Mr. Ground. Let's go this way, like this, so we can get some, oh yeah, we're uh, we're definitely rotating the wrong way. So we can swap those out. That's as easy as changing the controls on this to D and A. A and D. So we are going to set these to a little bit faster. So we're going to go 0 0.5 because we want our turning to be a little faster. The angle is a little steep as well. We'll go 20. And that way we can set these to output only like a 0 0.5. So we should only go half of the angle. So we're not going to have that full rotation when we spin. So let's try that see if that actually works. All right, give her some gas, point it upwards, pull back on the stick, a little bit of roll that way, a wee bit of roll that way, 
it's not, uh, oh, 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 see? So we don't have quite the pitch that we need to get us into the air. So we could, if we wanted to, set the angle on these to something a little steeper. If you wanted to, we want to gain some altitude. Let's try setting them to 45 degrees. 45 degrees. About this way, and away we go, upwards. So that will definitely take us upwards. But see, we're going so fast forwards. There we go. See, here we got a, a little flyer with no wings. We don't even need wings. We'll just fly around in this. See, we got our steering and everything. It still thinks that those wings are attached. Man, it's a good thing reality isn't like this, right? Real physics. Any cars driving around with no wheels and stuff. Oh, it used to have wheels. It just thinks it still does. Oh, we're going to the drink. This is it. Goodbye, cruel world. All right, so we need a little bit more control so that we're not uh, going so fast forward that we can't even angle upwards. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to copy these two hinges to the front. Ta-da! And again, we're going to go green up. And I have tried that mirror mode. Any of you guys find that mirror mode to just give you headaches? because of all the dots that are in there. I just, I don't know, I tried it a few times using it. I was all excited for it. And when I actually got to using it, I was uh, I was, I was not feeling well using it. I found it to be more uh, irritant on my eyes than anything. Let me know in the comments below if you found the same thing. Or is it just me? That's totally possible. All right, we'll put some small triangular modular wings on the front of these. And these are already set to our up and down controls, but we don't want these to be at 45 degrees. That's just gonna flip us right up into the air. So we only need these to be minor changes. So let's try 15 degrees. And we'll build that in, face this in the right direction. Give it some gas, pull up a little bit. See how we definitely have more control now with our up and down. Seeing how we have those small front fins. Our rotation is a wee bit slow. It's a wee bit slow. And you notice how we don't have any vertical stabilization either, but we're going straight. I think sails act as vertical stabilizers as well as horizontal. So let's go back and change the settings on our steering gates. These ones right here. We'll make them... Uh, let's try it at one. Let's see if it's still as extreme as it was before. Build that in, spin that around. Give it some gas, up we go. Let's see, this is, actually that's not bad. Oh, that's bad. Let's try this again, lads. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. So, I guess it's not bad as long as you're expecting it. If you're expecting it, then you know to release as soon as you start turning. You have the option to turn super sharp. See a little bit of that jittery from uh, no vertical stabilizers on there. And we still can't go into the water yet, even though we have a diving bell. And we are also going to set our sails to be able to open and close on Q and E. So we're going to build mode. Double click on these, holding down left control, and we want to set those to E and Q, and we want to have them toggle all the way. Same thing with these small ones. Set those to Q and E. Toggle, toggle. So those will go in and out with those. And then, so we still need to be able to do something while we're in the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our underwater propellers and we're just gonna mount them right to the bottom of our jets. Bang. Now we'll wanna keep them back a bit that we end up with uh, a little more weight near the back so that it's actually pushing us upwards out of the water so that we can fly away. Uh, we'll keep these underwater engines set to the same space and we want to get rid of backwards because we're not going backwards. And if you pull back to pull out of the water, you can end up slowing yourself down like a brake because your uh, propellers will pull you backwards instead of pulling up on the nose. All right, let's try this. Build this in, give it some gas. Make sure we still got the lift we need. It should be lots and plenty. Might even change the steering down to like a 0.7 maybe and try that so it's not so extreme. Let's see, we'll dive into the water here. 
see if we keep on going or if we slow right down too much. We're down to 40 clicks, that's not too bad. And we still have full steering capability underwater here. Ta-da! And then we can just fly right out of the water. No problemo. As you can see, super stable once you start going flat. Oh, see, we get a little bit of nosedive. Okay. Well, we can, we can deal with that. We can deal with that a wee bit. And you know how we do that. See how it wants to go down a wee bit because the weight is in the front. I don't like that vibe. Let's try closing the sails. As you see, we still have the same flight capabilities, but it's just nowhere near as stable as when your sails are open. Like that. But we're going pretty fast. If we wanted to, you could actually you could add another sub engine, like a water propeller on the bottom of your bell, your diving bell. If you want to go faster underwater, if you want a faster sub, you could do that like this. Just take one of these, copy it down, put it under. You could actually put two if you like, like that. Let's try that. Jump in there. Here we go. Now we're doing like 52, 55. Almost 60 sometimes. And then we can jump out of the water. We got a little bit more air resistance now. A little bit more weight underneath. These sails actually work surprisingly well as wings. Again, I'm pretty sure that's not what they were intended for. That's what I'm using them for. They look cool. I finally got some with angles on it. So turning is a little weird, again, because of the no vertical stabilizer. But you have plenty of yaw. Lots of control. It's almost like a stunt plane. So you could either go with more propellers like that for in the water. So you know you can just tap your space bar. You could be like a boat in the water. And you can just take off whenever you want. I'm out of here. Or if you want more speed in the air, which I'm not sure the sails would necessarily appreciate. But we can also do this. We can get rid of those two bottom ones and stick another jet engine under there. These do have some weight, so we want to keep that in mind. Put that one under there, move it back a wee bit. Maybe even, maybe even put an aerodynamic piece in front. Wedge gang style. Just, uh, just because we know that's going to increase our speed. All right, let's try that. So that might slow us down a little bit more in the water. And we're still at 40, that's not too bad. Hey there, Mr. Wales. And let's fly out of the water here. See if we can stay in one piece. Definitely gonna have some more bottom thrust. So we don't have the problem with the nose diving down anymore. But it looks like our sails wanna fall apart. So let's close them up, see if that helps. The shake, rattle, and roll. Boy, she really wants to turn. See, you don't have much surface area as far as controlling lift and stuff like that when your wings aren't open. So at least when they're open, if you start nose diving, you can pull out and they'll actually catch the wind, right? So there you go. That's about as simple a method as you can make for a sail flyer. So it's a flyer and a sub, I guess. And they have an amazing amount of lift. So I mean, so many ideas. Uh, biplanes with using these as like a two or three layered wings on an old biplane style. Uh, I don't know if it would necessarily look so good in a jet, but you could maybe hide these with the piston, piston glitch inside the body of a jet, and uh, it wouldn't even look like there was wings on it. And you could make it totally look aesthetics without having to worry about generating lift. You could just have a couple of these hidden inside the body, and you'd have all the lift you need, not to mention the stability of having these hidden inside. This, uh, you can take this in and fly this in the wind in the open seas as well and it will fly just as well and give you lots of torque in the water if you uh, add those extra water propellers for all that current, especially near the vortex. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you in the next one. Ciao.